Delta Route to Pennell, climb, level 320. Delta Climb, level 320, Ryanair at 27 Ecuador. Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So you may have seen the recent video that I made on an excellent project that allows multiple recordings to be made from a set bandwidth using your RTL SDR, and then show those recordings in a nice looking web interface. Now at the time of recording that video, only FM transmissions were demodulated and recorded, leaving AM transmissions unable to listen to. Now since that video and with feedback from the community, the developer has now added the ability to record and listen to AM transmissions. Now while that may not seem exciting to a general listener or user, it has a massive impact for those who enjoy listening to aircraft and airport tower transmissions. With this project installed and running, you can record all transmissions in the airband. While RTL SDR devices are supported, these have a sample rate of around 2 MHz, which means if scanning more than 2 MHz, the tuner will change frequency automatically in the hunt for a transmission. Now, if you were to use a Hack RF, for example, which has a bandwidth of 20 MHz, then the SDR would not need to change frequency so often, meaning there's less chance of missing transmissions. However, using an RTL SDR, which I'm using in this example, works extremely well, which I'll show you shortly. Now installing SDR scanner is relatively easy, as long as you have Docker installed on your Linux based computer. Now I'm using VMware's virtual machine player, which is a free download, along with an installation of Ubuntu, all running on my Windows 11 computer. So let's assume you already have SDR scanner installed, and now you want to upgrade to the latest version to include AM transmissions. If you've not already got SDR scanner installed, either take a look at the GitHub page for our installation instructions, or go and watch my previous video on this project. In fact, the update process is pretty much the same as the installation process, so you may get it working with the following information. Now the first step to take is to delete the config JSON and Docker compose YML file from the SDR directory. Now if you do not have an SDR directory, then just create one. Now you need to download the latest config file and the latest Docker compose file using the wget commands as shown on the screen or on the GitHub page. Now once you have both of these files within the SDR directory, you can now run Docker compose poll. This will download the Docker image that we need to run this project. If you are updating, then this process will be quite quick. If you're installing fresh, then it may take a few minutes to pull everything down. Now, if you get an error, then just use sudo docker compose pull and then enter your sudo user password. Once done, you can now start the project to make sure it's working with the default config. You need to make sure that your SDR device is already plugged into your computer before starting. To start, type docker compose up and press enter. You should then see the screen show information like this. Now check for errors and if everything seems OK, you can now press Ctrl C to close the application. Now we'll edit the config file by typing sudo nano config.json. Now here you can see lots of different parameters, but for now we'll just change the frequency range in which the application will scan. Now I chose 128 MHz to 130 MHz, which should capture some of the local airport and aircraft transmissions. Press Ctrl X and select yes to save the file. Now restart the application by typing docker compose up, and that restarts the application. You now want to let it run for a while so that it captures some interesting transmissions. Now upon returning, you can now load the user interface by typing http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8000 into your web browser's address bar. After selecting transmissions from the drop down menu, you should be presented with a long list of recorded transmissions. Simply click the play button under the decoded file column to play the recording. Copy 
when ready, flight level 180, level 8, flight level 160, 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 level 1343, If you don't have any recordings, then either you haven't left it long enough, or there's an issue with the antenna, or your STR is not working properly. Restart the application and just check for any errors that are shown on the screen. Otherwise, now you can have fun listening to all the recordings that have been made. Of course, you can save them and you can even see the spectrograph for that particular recording. So there we go, guys. STL scanner, which now incorporates AM demodulation. So great for all you aircraft enthusiasts out there. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below and if you're going to be using it. I think it'd be quite interesting to leave it on one particular frequency, maybe like a tower or military frequencies, and then listen back at a later stage to see what activity you've missed. Until the next video, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.